Carl Sagan says we are the frontal lobes of the universe. So we are the universe, being aware of the universe, just like the brain can perceive itself. Well, on a sort of macro level, we are the universe perceiving itself. And these moments of sort of mental expansion and then seeing the fact that, you know, with our biotechnology, we're manipulating biology. With nanotechnology, we manipulate matter at the level of the atom. The whole freaking thing becomes a creative universe that wakes up, a creative universe that comes alive. And so the singularity is just uh, ultimately a, a kind of metaphor used to describe the ineffable and indescribable nature of a universe, a creative universe, accelerating in its capacity to be creative. Terence McKenna said the universe is a novelty engendering universe. It's a universe that sprouts complexity, sprouts new possibility. Kelly says technology is the seventh kingdom of life, subject to the same evolutionary forces. You know, Pierre de Chardin, the Jesuit priest, talks about the omega point, this complexity leading us towards this kind of rapturous transcendence of all previous limits. Eric Davis, who wrote in Technosis, said that eventually the human design process will achieve a kind of infinite velocity where everything becomes linked with everything else and matter becomes mind. Because that's really what's going on. We take in matter of low organization, we put it through our mental filters, and we extrude it as space shuttles and iPhones. So when you look at the stuff, you see like, wow, Kurzweil's singularity is the same as Pierre de Chardin, the Jesuit with Priest who was tripping out talking about the Omega Point, which is the same as Timothy Leary talking about us going from worms into butterflies and transforming ourselves. And it's the same as McKenna talking about a universe that engenders more and more novelty. And it's the same as Kevin Kelly's Technia. So you see the academics and the writers and the scientists and the sort of psychonauts all saying ultimately the same thing. You know, Isaiah Berlin said, to understand is to perceive patterns. So you start to see the pattern. And it's humanity, it's certain minds just noticing the same thread, the same common denominator, which is kind of this move towards towards that something. You know, it's like staring into the sun. It's, it's hard to describe, but I think we're, we're going in that direction.